So are you guys tired of having a boring, dull boat? You want to spice it up a little bit with maybe a spotlight in the front? Some black lights at night for fishing? Storage box lights? Well, you're in good luck because I'm going to introduce you today to Elite Glow Boat Lighting Services. Hunter Cordell out of East Ridge, Tennessee does a fantastic job. Friendly service, good price, and can work you in really quickly. Now, why do you want to go with Hunter Cordell and Elite Glow? The leader in the industry right now is Blue Water LED. That standard package costs you 400 bucks, plus you gotta pay somebody to put it in. With Hunter, you're getting way more than that for a lot better price. So let me bring in Hunter Cordell right now. Hunter, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good, hey guys. My name's Hunter Cordell. Um, pretty much here to do anything you need to, that involves lights. We do black lights, navigation lights, headlights, all your storage compartment lights, live well lights, Anything that involves lights, we do it. Um, we got several different things that we did for Craig here today. We hooked him up with some black lights. We put on a 16 foot strip that runs all the way down the side of the boat. We'll put them above or below the rub rail. A lot of people ask, why don't you put them in the rub rail? Well, that rub rail is there for a reason. So a lot of your lights that get put inside the rub rail can easily get damaged. Put them above or below. They're well protected and they'll last a lot longer. We don't drill any holes, any visible holes in the boat. Uh, Craig, if you want to walk up front here. We pull the rub rail out, remove this section. A hole gets drilled behind it where you already have a screw every three inches anyway. And the wires will get neatly tucked up in behind and ran in through the hole right there. So there's no visible holes and nowhere where the boat could possibly have any kind of leak. Uh, we do the same thing for the navigation lights. Whether they go above or below is more dependent on the boat itself. Some holes are designed better for uh, the top and some are better for the bottom. As you can see, the way the body line is right here is what have rolled up. So we went with the bottom and uh, I kind of prefer them on the bottom. It protects them from the sun and you'll get a lot longer lifespan out of them. I do offer a one year warranty on the lights. If anything happens to them, as long as it's not physical damage where you hit something, uh, I will replace them. And if there's anything else that you could possibly need, I'd be glad to help you out. Here in just a second, we'll show you the compartment lights and the live well lights and uh, get you hooked up. Now, something that I noticed on a previous boat that I had with black lights, Another good reason to have those underneath that rail. If you have them inside the rail or above the rail while you're out there fishing, you're going to get glare in your face and it's going to blind you. This right here is going to put more glow on your water without taking away from the actual benefit of having these black lights on your boat. So now let's go back here and check out the work he did inside the storage box. So what I had Hunter do here was there's only one light inside this box here and you can see how much it glows and lights this box up. Now what we're doing right now is actually creating light for this video so at night this is going to be a lot brighter than what it shows right now. Every box gets a light. And like I said every one of these is basically professionally installed. Very neat work. I watched him do every piece. Very neat not just throwing stuff together and making it just a tangled up mess. And that's a big deal when you wanna get something done that you're gonna be using all the time. It's tucked up out of the way and you're not gonna have any problems out of it. And like Hunter said a while ago, if you do, you got a one year warranty. So we got light in this box. We get lights in the both live wells. So I gave Hunter kind of a, a little test. I wanted to see what he would do on his own without me saying, hey, put this here, put that there. I want this here, I want that there. What I love that he did was he put my switch with my other switches. I don't have like a, a crazy switch off here on the side somewhere. My toggle switch for my boat storage lights is right here beside my other auxiliary type uh, switches. Now on the black lights, I'm sure you could put it wherever you wanted but he chose to put mine in the front of the boat. While I'm up there trolling around fishing, my black lights are going to be on. I can easily turn those on and off 
right there in front of my foot on my trolling motor. Another reason, Craig, that I normally put the switch up front, it helps remind you, most states it's illegal to run these lights while you're running your big motor. You can only use them while you're trolling. So I always put the light up front, that way when you go to deploy your trolling motor or pull it back up, you're right there, the switch is right there, and you can easily turn them on and off while you're fishing from the front of the boat. You don't have to come back to the console. Let him talk about the different types of LEDs and what exactly you're getting from Hunter that you're not going to get typically from offline eBay type of stuff or some maybe possibly other installers. So Craig asked me, what's the difference in my lights? And most of the lights that you'll go out there and see for a low price that's readily available on eBay, Amazon, other places where you can find them. You kind of get what you pay for when it comes to LED lights. Uh, there's a certain range where some are extremely overpriced and then you have some that are extremely cheap and they're that way for a reason. Um, I carry two different types of lights as you can see. I have them with a white background that we normally put on white boats and silver boats. And I have them with a black background that I'll put on darker colored boats, blue, red. But what's important, if you look in between these LEDs, you'll see a double resistor right here. Right over here, you'll see another single resistor. If you get you a cheap set of LED lights straight off the internet somewhere, you'll notice there's only gonna be a single resistor every third LED. When it comes to black lights, it's all about the wavelength. And that's what makes your line glow. It's a special type of light and these LED resistors right here, they help keep a even current of light going down that strip. If you look at a cheap set of lights, you'll see you've got bright ones, you've got dim ones, and it'll vary all the way down through the strip. With these lights that I carry right here, you'll have an even light distribution and they'll look great all the way down the boat. Make sure, hit up Hunter here, get with him, call him up, See if what he offers is right for you. I know it's going to be. Hunter, hit them with your number one more time and how they can get a hold of you. 423-503-7096. You can always look me up on Facebook, Hunter Cordell. And uh, if you have any questions, most turnarounds are in one day. Just depends on the size of the job, on the price. We vary. My black lights and navigation lights, that is a standard $300 install. That is including your lights, black lights, navigation lights. Uh, the compartment boxes, they can range. Price can go up and down. It just depends. Uh, it basically varies on the boat itself, the whole design, how easy it is to access, and also how many compartments you're interested in doing. Some people just want a few accent lights, and some people want the whole job. So just let me know. I'm here to help you out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out on your next decision for all your boat lighting needs. In my opinion, get with Hunter Cordell, Elite Globe Boat Lighting Services in East Ridge, Tennessee.